lots of planning and lots of candy. The 33rd year of Halloween on Colcord is finally coming to a close, but this is a tradition that's been bringing neighbors closer together. One night a year. For months, literally, we've been planning for months. These five blocks of Colcord Avenue transform into a Halloween hotspot. And yes, that's a DJ, courtesy of the Morales family. We like to see the kids, you know, the reaction. Eight years ago, when the family first moved here, Halloween didn't quite look like this. It was like a kind of small at the beginning. You know, we started doing it little by little. A 33-year neighborhood tradition has exploded into a citywide event in recent years. Last year, more than 2,000 trick-or-treaters. This year, not far from it. I think it's pretty cool. I mean, we all get to do it in the community. Vice President of the Sanger Heights Neighborhood Association, Rory Parton, says it started as a small neighborhood event and now has everything from food trucks to nonprofits to full security. I want to meet these people and bring them in because together is better. Together we can accomplish more in Waco. While COVID put a stop to the celebration in 2020, Halloween on Colcord has since made a full comeback. People coming an hour early. Because, yeah, I mean, they were like, we're out of the house. These neighbors are already thinking of the future. Basically more customs, you know, we invite more people, more family, so we can make it go bigger. I think this is just like a sign of the beginning of what we're trying to accomplish. No more screams and no more thriller for another 365 days. But as you just heard those neighbors say, they're ready to take the first 33 years and build on them to make it something even bigger next year in the Sanger Heights neighborhood. Andrew Lamparski, 25 News.